Video games have gone through many changes in the 35 or so years since they have been in the consumer marketplace. From 8-bit Super Mario Brothers to slick VR experiences, the industry has gone through an impressive evolution in a single generation. As 2017 comes to a close, other sites are looking at the best games of the year, but we wanted to look back at the best year in gaming, which is probably 2007. It was the seventh generation of consoles. Xbox 360 was released at the end of 2005, with PS3 and Nintendo Wii coming out a year later. PS3 was the first console to offer Blu-ray playback, which, along with better hardware, allowed for bigger, richer games. Many of the gaming franchises that are considered stalwarts of the industry, all those big AAA titles, got their start in 2007. Assassin's Creed, Uncharted, The Witcher, Bioshock, Portal, and Mass Effect, just to name a few. The year also saw some of the best entries in previously established franchises, such as Super Mario Galaxy, Halo 3, God of War 2, Call of Duty 4, and World of Warcraft, The Burning Crusade, the first WoW expansion, and also a thing that I explained to my doctor once. Today, let's look back at a few of the biggest video games from 2007. The Witcher, based on a series of Polish medieval fantasy novels, was a new turn in fantasy RPG. The world is grittier and more realistic in the sense that choices weren't always black and white, good or bad. Oftentimes, your choices are to decide which option is the lesser evil. In addition, the gameplay for The Witcher is unique among RPGs. You can choose from three different fighting styles that allow you different tactics against different foes. The game also features a time-delayed decision consequence system, which means that a decision you make may have a negative effect later in the game. I can put on your thinking caps before you dive into the Witcher. Congratulations, the test is now over. You may have heard that the cake is a lie, but never known what that is in reference to. Well, it comes from Portal, a game renowned for its originality and dark sense of humor. Mainly a puzzle game, Portal requires the user to teleport between portals in order to win. The portals have their own unique physics which allows this to go beyond a typical point and click adventure. The cake is promised to the player by GLaDOS, the AI antagonist who taunts you as a reward for completing the game. Cake and grief counseling will be available at the conclusion of the test. But there is no cake. Even when you win, the cake is a lie. World of Warcraft is one of those games that goes beyond just gaming. It is the most popular, massively multiplayer online role-playing game, or more pig, by subscribers. That's not just anecdotal. Guinness World Records gave them that accreditation in 2009. World of Warcraft launched in 2004, but 2007 saw the release of their first expansion, The Burning Crusade, which still sounds gross. The expansion opened up an entirely new continent, Outlands. It also added two new playable races, three new dungeons, changes to the PvP system, and it was the first time flying was available outside of game set flight points. Flight was especially helpful because Outlands is huge. Mario and Luigi have been around since the beginning of video games, but Super Mario Galaxy took Mario to a whole new level, literally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Set in space, Mario still needs to save Princess Peach, but with the unique challenge of gravity physics. Each planet has a different gravitational force, which affects the way each planet is played. Super Mario Galaxy is consistently considered one of the best video games ever made. It is the top rated game on Metacritic and game rankings and won a half dozen 
Game of the Year awards in 2007. The official Nintendo Magazine, in their final issue, ranked Super Mario Galaxy as the best Nintendo game of all time. Not that they're biased or anything. A beautiful, immersive environment that combines mid-century modern art deco and a steampunk sensibility is probably the most intoxicating part of Bioshock. Set in an underwater city meant to offer a safe and prosperous environment for humanity's elite, the utopia becomes a dystopia when a substance is discovered that can create superhuman abilities. Naturally, this also creates mental instability and war soon erupts. The first person shooter has RPG elements which allow the user to choose how to take out enemies. It also requires users to make moral choices when it comes to killing and saving characters. Bioshock is the thinking person's video game. Where's all the damn gold? Eh, this place was picked clean centuries ago. Uncharted brought the slickness of Hollywood style action adventure storytelling to video games. The comparison to the Indiana Jones films is undeniable, with director Sean Levy hoping to make his Uncharted feature film an Indiana Jones style franchise for a generation that didn't grow up on Indiana Jones. Gamers play as Nathan Drake, a cocksure treasure hunter who is working with a reporter and his mentor to find the treasure of El Dorado. With unique characters and snappy dialogue, Uncharted set a new standard for game characters. Oof, what a way to go. Set in space in the year 2183, Mass Effect follows a pretty standard sci-fi plot, highly intelligent synthetic organic hybrids threaten civilization. What sets Mass Effect apart is its interactive storytelling. A player's choices could change the outcome of the storyline, which also causes players to care more about the characters. The idea was to give Mass Effect the customization and tactics of a traditional role-playing game, but with a simpler third-person shooter interface. The game was intended as a trilogy, but a fourth installment setting up a new trilogy was launched earlier this year. The Assassin's Creed franchise is set in various fictionalized times in history, including the French Revolution, the Renaissance, and the Victorian era, but the original game takes place largely during the Third Crusade. The plot focuses on the battle between the Assassins, or the good guys, and the Templar Knights, or the bad guys, over the battle for an ancient relic used for mind control. The action-adventure game was praised for its open-world environment and unique parkour elements, but many reviews were critical of the repetitive gameplay. Nevertheless, the game became Ubisoft's best-selling franchise and one of the best-selling franchises in video game history. As these games show, 2007 was really a banner year in video games. But we're sure we missed something. What did we miss? Let us know in the comments. Bye.